What's up, everybody? Welcome to Mad About Boys. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's December 24th, Christmas Eve. My five-year-old son, almost six-year-old son, is so jacked up, and it's, it's exciting to see. I hope everybody has a fantastic holiday season. So we got Zoran. I got her a couple of weeks ago. Haven't had an opportunity to review her yet, but have been having fun putting her on this bike she does fit well i gotta say a little short but uh looks all right so hasbro can definitely get some bikes um manufactured for these dreadnoughts you know they're going to be coming out with more zarana is a master of the skies sister of zartan and twin sister of xandar First appeared in the five-part series, Arise, Serpentor, Arise. She's from London, England, and part of the biker gang, the Dreadnoughts. She was inspired by punk rock singer Wendy O'Hare and also released in 1986 in toy form and in the comics. So like I was saying, she does look awesome on this bike. Definitely liking the look of that. I've also swapped the head, the hair piece with Lady J, as you saw in my thumbnail. And it looks all right from the side. The ears look a little funny. Uh, I think this one's a little better. But rather than, or not even rather, give her this one because it's her traditional hair piece. I will never, ever be posing her with this piece here. Just not going to happen. I'll show what it looks like there, though. Here's her other weapon. Not a real gun, as far as I'm aware. They've never put a saw on the end of a gun. Some Scarface shit. Her backpack. Not as much detail on this backpack as in a lot of the G.I. Joe backpacks. Very cool looking knife some nice detail there but that's pretty much it when it comes to her accessories the hair piece comes off just like lady j's but what i would have liked to see rather than or not even like i was saying rather than this also included in this is a hair piece to make her look like um scarlet i think that would have been so awesome and uh, yeah, she's a, uh, a master of disguise, so let's give her some sort of disguise would have been clever on the part of Hasbro. But overall, a very nice figure. The female figures, unfortunately, they don't get as much effort put into them as the male figures do. It's just it is what it is. But when this one was announced, I was excited, and I just thought that it was going to be one of the best female action figures of the year. It's not. It's not the best uh, female action figure of the year. But it's definitely in the top 10, I would say, of this price point. Obviously, you're going to get some imports that cost a lot more than that $30 to $40 price point here in Canada, $20 to $30 price point in the U.S. But my major problem with this is her facial expression. I love facial expressions. But with this one here, just with the half mouth open, it kind of looks like she's kissing her teeth. I would have preferred the mouth closed, maybe a screaming mouth. Hasbro never seems to include uh, alternate head sculpts with their G.I. Joes, which is unfortunate. But let's get her off this bike here and check her out a little bit. If you're a fan of the G.I. Joes, obviously, I'm sure you're going to want to get this one in your collection. They haven't made a ton of female figures yet, so it is a welcome addition. Let's get her off the bike and check her out a little closer. And here we got Zorana off the bike with her alternate hairpiece. So there it is. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you like this hairpiece better than the other one? I'm by far like the other one better and will absolutely be posing it with that one. Nice double-jointed elbows on this one. 
pinless. But I think that First Lady J was also pinless. But not double jointed elbows. So this pose, her holding the gun like that. Love it. Looks natural. Lots of paint work on the zippers. Very nice. Zorana butt. Nice detail on the jeans. Very cool character design. So transitions to a nice action figure. Let's get Lady J in there. Compare the two. Here we go. Throw in Scarlet there with a Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson head. And I have Baroness somewhere, but not sure where it is. So let's uh, bury it in a pile here, I think. But anyways, there you get an idea of how she scales with the other female G.I. Joe so far. And like I was saying, I would have loved for them to give an alternate hair piece so that she could look like um, Scarlet or even Lady J. But I'm, I know I've seen her in different uh, cartoons being Lady J or sorry, being Scarlet. So let's take the hair piece off. I'm not going to put her head on Lady J's. Just for the simple fact that it is a smaller peg. I had to force it on there. Oh, Sinead O'Connor. I had to force it on there, and it uh, kind of stretched out this head, neck um, piece a little bit. So right away, look, it looks, I think, pretty cool. On the sides, you can see it does not really match there. It doesn't go down all the way. That side looks all right. But looking straight on, I think it looks great. So I, I definitely think you could take this head and put it on the Lady J's for some display purposes. Uh, just maybe put some putty on there and don't force it down onto the peg so that it doesn't stretch out the um, Zorana head. But definitely like the look of that one. Let's put the other piece on. I do like the way that they have these swappable hair pieces. I think they look great. They work well. And overall, they look good. So, yeah, nothing really unusual. We've seen all the... Oh, that's really cool. Cowboy boots and the spurs. Chain there. Yeah, like I was saying, lots of cool details. I did forget. It also has another knife. And it slots in there. One of the very cool things about G.I. Joe's, as we all know, is that most of the time you can stick all their weapons right on them. So that is cool. Let's check her out with some other figures. Lots of cool G.I. Joe's this year. So we're going to do a top 10 list. Lots of awesome G.I. Joe's. Looking forward to getting more. The prices have went up quite a bit here in Canada, but I'm hoping that they stay at that price point at least for a couple of years. The, the exclusive ones like the Python Patrol, uh, 50 bucks here in Canada, Toys R Us. And let's throw in uh, Outback here, probably my favorite G.I. Joe, another Tiger Force exclusive, 50 bucks. Another one here, Bazooka. Two of my favorite G.I. Joes in my collection. So it looks great with all the G.I. Joes. They scale them very well. How does she look with some other lines? Let's throw in the Joker here from McFarlane. Towering over her. Definitely don't scale well there. Valiverse. Yeah, scales well. Oh, there goes Arana. Scales well with the Valiverse. 
It's good. Bigger GI Joe here. Action scale. And she looks all right. Let's check her out with some couple of other lines and we'll wrap this one up. And here we got her with a couple of Catwoman Selena Kyles and the um, Muffex one, or I think it's SH Figure Arts version here of Selena Kyle. They scale very well. I was quite surprised and they look great. I definitely have to get some fighting pictures between these two awesome ladies here. The DC Direct one looks a little big, so that's not going to scale well together. And I found my Baroness, the one from the movie. I did a neck modification, so if you missed that video, I'll link the description somewhere around there. But uh, very happy once I did that neck modification that she does not look like a draft neck anymore. And the two of these girls look great together with their hairstyles. Definitely looking like the 80s to me. With one of the coolest action figures of the year from NECA, the last Ronin unarmored version. I don't have the, the armored version. Either one you go with, I'm sure, are fantastic. But big, big fan of that figure. With Jazzwares, AEW Moxley just towering over Zarana. I bought him for my G.I. Joe collection. He's a little big, but if he, you stick him in the back, he looks all right. Just so you know. <laughs> and lastly, with another McFarlane, we got Scarecrow here. And obviously, they don't scale well with the McFarlane. But let's get him out of here. That'll do it, everybody. I hope you guys all have a fantastic Christmas. If you see Zorana in the store and you haven't picked her up already, it's a great figure in my opinion. No issues at all. I don't like the uh, facial expression, but that's just a personal preference. But that'll do it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys have a great day, a great Christmas. I'll talk to you guys in a couple of days. Have a great day, everybody. All done the video. Ah!